we saw metals of low reactivity copper and mercury being extracted just by heating what about metals of medium reactivity on no question like zinc we shall learn only about zinc so in metals of medium reactivity they are grouped into further two types of ores they can be sulfides or carbonates like i told you it can be zinc sulfide it can be zinc carbonate we'll deal only with zinc but it extends to in general metals of medium reactivity so in medium reactivity the sulfides and carbonates are not so weak that just by heating you will get the metal so you need to employ different techniques and there are two techniques which are employed for sulfides and carbonates respectively two different techniques one is called calcination and the other is called roasting now let us study about this in difference form because very frequently they ask the differences between cal calcination and roasting the first thing oh okay when whenever you write differences suppose difference between x and y then first the point should be the definition of x and the definition of y and the definition should not be like uh The, just the definition of x and just the definition of y just write the definitions such that it looks like there is a difference between x and y so so just just don't write that x is a and y is b write something x is a while y is not a something like that which relates the two things the second difference is related to some feature and if there is a third difference you can just give an example second difference can be any feature as such so calcination is basically heating in limited supply of oxygen while roasting is heating in excess of oxygen so calcination there will be heating but you will limit the supply of oxygen and while in roasting you will give excess of oxygen so that it becomes combustion as such not combustion but it's heating in lib, uh, sufficient supply or excess supply of oxygen secondly calcination is used for carbonates while roasting is used for sulfides 
So we saw that metals of medium reactivity can be grouped into carbonates and sulfides and we see that carbonates, for carbonates this method is used, for sulfides this method is used. We will see why for carbonates calcination is used and why for sulfides roasting is used once we get to the reaction which is the third point. See there, there has to be an example to fill up the third point and the example in this case is the reaction. So, write the reaction. I am not writing it in the third point. Just writing it separately. In calcination, you have zinc carbonate. Now, if you heat it in limited supply of oxygen, you will get ZNO plus CO2. You still have not got ZN. We will see about that you still have not got Zn, you have got ZnO and in case of roasting ZnS will give you ZnO plus SO2. So, you get ZNO from both the reactions, but in ZNS, you have to form SO2. So, you need extra oxygen to form this SO2. In ZNCO3, you already have oxygen present in uh, ZNCO3. So, it just breaks up into ZNO and CO2. You don't need oxygen as such, extra oxygen. But in this case, you need excess oxygen so that S, uh, this sulfide can be converted into an oxide and a sulfur dioxide. 